Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodie and I'm sharing with you today my beauty favourites for March 2014. I've got a good range of high end to drugstore level of products and we're spanning some body care, hair care and then a whole lot of makeup. So without any further ado, I will start with one of my body care favourites. This is the Bronzing Mousse from Sun Tropez. I picked this one up at Priceline when it's on sale. What I love about this is that it is a green toned mousse which gives you a much more realistic beautiful bronze glow as opposed to that orange oompa loompa glow so easy to apply especially with the use of the San Tropez glove makes it really fast easy flawless lasts a good amount of time and I get lots and lots of compliments when I apply it I like getting a professional spray every now and then this is a great in-between type procedure to use once or twice a week I find just as a beautiful job I've been using San Tropez for over five years is now and just love the brand it's very predictable realistic tan thumbs up moving on to hair care I've got two new kind of dry shampoos that I've been working with I've been speaking for years about the aerosol spray cans I really like the Batiste my favorite is the Tony and Guy but I've been playing a little bit with powders lately and I have really been enjoying this one from Shuwamura it is their volume maker hair texturizer and it's great for popping in your handbag applying on the go it really doesn't make a mess is what I love about it it's got a retractable type brush and basically you just click it to dispense the product onto your hair so it's really nice and measured and then you use the brush just to disperse it so it's really quick and easy makes no mess at all you can use it in your car and not worry about it going everywhere and you also don't have to worry about too much product in your hair and you know looking too white while it is a beautiful product for on the go popping in your handbag applying wherever you are on the spot it's not cheap what I really like as a cheap alternative for those of you who'd be interested in a less expensive option is from Lush this is their no drought dry shampoo it's a huge bottle it's just got a little sort of pore spout in the bottle you just tap it into your roots you just work it through with a brush with your hands it does a great job of absorbing oil and you do get a whole lot of product in a nice big bottle I also have been experimenting for an upcoming review of false lashes from Velour lashes they sent me seven pairs that I will be sharing with you coming up in a video soon on Guru Beauty they are made from mink which makes them very realistic they easily blend in with your natural lashes they hold a lovely curl and they can be used over and over and over again because they are such a lovely quality they have many styles available they ship internationally and I've really been enjoying these Velour lashes of all different styles and I will share more information with you about those very soon face products I've been loving these two foundations this month I pulled out the Illamasqua skin base I made a review video of this foundation some time ago now I love this it's a beautiful buildable coverage a gorgeous healthy finish I love it it's beautiful it's not for those of you who really need a matte look but it's for those of you who like something slightly dewy slightly glowy adds a lot of coverage you can just build it beautifully and it's great for combination right through to dry skin love Illamasqua skin base I'm in the shade 8 8.5 depending on if I've got self tan on or not you can get this from Illamasqua online or from Maya in store in Sydney and Melbourne or online beautiful product other foundation I've really enjoyed is from Giorgio Armani high-end foundations this month this is their luminous silk I made a really quick five minute rave video about this some time ago, but it's beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I love it. It's a beautiful, buildable to probably medium, maybe slightly more than medium coverage, but the finish is what makes this beautiful. It is a luminous silk. Unlike the NARS Sheer Glow, the name is fitting. It's a favorite among makeup artists because of the beautiful finish to your skin. This one lasts on me all day long. I wear a primer every day, but I do need to touch up my nose. But once that's done, it just looks gorgeous, flawless, just as beautiful as when I first applied it. I absolutely adore the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and would recommend it. I'm in the shade six. 
And then I've really been enjoying these ambient lighting blushes from Hourglass. I picked up three from Mecca Cosmetica when they came to Australia. I picked up the Mood Exposure, which is a plumier type shade. Beautiful marble type finish, similar to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. In the middle here, we've got Luminous Flush. It's a nice, brighter pop of pink. There's two, sh two other shades out of the six, probably, that are very similar to Luminous Flush. This one was my pick after much delivery liberation of the brighter pinks in the set of six and then I also picked up dim infusion which is a light peach this is how they look on my hand we've got the mood exposure up top just that beautiful lovely plum really nice finish it makes my skin just look healthy these blushes last all day they build beautifully I just love them in the middle here that is the luminous flush lovely pink that just gives your face a freshness and youthfulness love it it's blendable buildable beautiful lovely glow on your cheeks and then the one on the bottom is dim infusion it doesn't look as peach as it does look on my face when i apply it it's an interesting one i have probably half beige half peach in my one but depending on the one that you pick up it may be more peach it may be more beige so it's an interesting one but i really like it it doesn't look as ashy on my face as i say as it does on my hand i also like to mix those blushes too with each other and uh, just have really been enjoying them can't say enough about them another face product i've really been enjoying is from becca becca is available here in australia in david jones stores as well as online i'll include links to some sources that you can find becca at down below this little beauty is their shimmering skin perfector in the shade opal opal is their gorgeous gold shade this is a very very powerful highlighter where it packs a whole lot of punch for a very little amount definitely packs as much punch as the balms mary luminizer highlight you need just a very light fluffy brush to apply this one it's gorgeous as a highlight on your face i've been loving it on my decolletage you know when you're showing a lot of skin and you're bronzy and tanned it just looks gorgeous to highlight your collarbones, your chest area, and just have a beautiful glow. I also use it on my shoulders. You would have seen it when I look extra glowy in my recent videos. It's this product, definitely from Becca. I absolutely adore it. As well as on my eyelids, I'll include a shot here from Instagram showing how I recently applied it all over my lid. Love this product from Becca. Definitely check that out if you get the chance. Moving on to eyes, I saw a recent review on Lisa SZ09 here on YouTube. YouTube, reviewing this aqua cream waterproof cream eyeshadow from makeup forever it's the number 16 it's a really nice frosty pink it is a gorgeous shade this is what it looks like on my hand if you can see that swatch it's beautiful on the eye on its own I'll include a shot here of a look that I created with it just all over the lid but it's beautiful also for the inner corner these last a very long time from makeup forever i dare say that you'd be able to find a close enough dupe from the maybelline 24 hour color tattoo range i love the aqua creams they are lovely they are available online i'll include links to that down below but do also consider drugstore dupes but you know it's still definitely creamy definitely beautiful and pigmented and shimmery you know years after buying it this plastic packaging keeps these products beautiful and creamy they haven't dried out at all Another product that I've really enjoyed for my eyes this month is from Dior. This is one of their five color eyeshadow palettes in the shade Grage. This one was recommended to me by one of you viewers out there. Thank you for recommending it. It's a gorgeous everyday neutral type palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I can create so many different looks with these five colors. That's what I love about it. It's versatile. I could take this on a week long trip and be able to do, you know, daytime, nighttime, any kind of look with this palette. It's just, it's beautiful. It's got some really nice highlight shades, this lovely frosty white, and there's something a little bit darker, but still quite light with a sheen to it. It's got a beautiful medium tone brown shade, great for a daytime smoky look all over the eye beautiful all over the lid but also importantly a really lovely crease or transition shade as well a beautiful nice deeper brown a very matte color there beautiful for lining the eyes for a really nice soft effect also defining the outer v into the crease a beautiful shade as well for all over the lid for something more dramatic and then you've got a more shimmery metallic slate gray shade they just work beautifully 
together. They work beautifully together. This is how they swatch. We've got the two highlight shades here. You can see that darker highlight is just slightly more skin colored, I guess, at least closer to my skin. This beautiful mid-tone brown that is matte, beautifully blendable. And then the two darker shades, beautiful dark brown can sometimes look quite plummy depending on how you mix it, what you put it over. And then this beautiful gray for a really nice smoky look. I've done a few different looks on Instagram this month using that palette. It's definitely been a favorite for me. Part of their permanent line and I definitely would recommend you checking that one out if you're near Dior. I've also been enjoying an old all-time favorite of mine. This one is a liquid liner from Stila. It's their Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Carbon Black. Nothing really is blacker. Nothing really is easier to use. This is a great product for touching up, going over false lashes, going up in between your lashes to fill in any spots. It's really nice for a really fine winged liner, really nice for getting right into the corner. The nib stays wet regardless of what you're applying it over, whether you're applying it over glitter, powder, a clean eye, uh, a cream eyeshadow, anything. It's got a beautiful, fine, very flexible, Felt tip, I adore this product from Stila. Probably my favorite liquid liner of all time and I can't say enough about it. I have also been enjoying a couple of eyeliners that I picked up recently from Priceline when they had their 40% off sale. One is from Models Preferred. This is their Infinite Eye Color Pencil in the shade Nude Appeal. Nude Appeal is a nude shade that has a sheen to it. I think of it as still a kitten in the form of a pencil. Very long lasting on my hand. When I wear it in my waterline, it does need touch up. Also beautiful for the inner corner. Again, it does need touch up. That's it swatched on my hand there. So it's not just a straight matte, you know, nude color or a straight matte white. And the purple shade is from Savvy, Savvy by DB. This one is the shade Vibrant Violet. It's their soft glide eyeliner. Very inexpensive. I've really historically been impressed with Savvy's liners. Love them. And this purple is beautiful. I'll include a shot here of a day that I wore it in my waterline. You can see it goes beautifully with brown eyes, would look great with green eyes as well. Just a really nice classic purple when you want to play with color, I love it. And then I've really been enjoying a couple of drugstore lip products as well. Revlon have finally brought their Color Burst Matte Balms and Lacquer Balms to Australia. I've got one really bright shade and one really nude shade. The bright shade I'm wearing now, this is one of their Matte Balms in the shade 210 unapologetic. This is what it looks like on my hand, just a really nice bright pink. Their matte balms can be drying for some people who have dry lips already or who are prone to dry lips. If you've got flaky lips, you will not like the formulation of these pencils. While they're convenient and twist up, they do have a little bit of a kind of moussey texture. These dry to a matte finish, but they will show off flakes. If you've got any imperfections on your lips, get rid of them. Make sure your lips are moisturized before you use it, but it lasts a nice amount of time. I'll still want to touch up at some point throughout the day, but long lasting, vibrant shades, the convenience of a wind up, twist up pencil. I've really liked this. I also got a uh, red shade that I've really been enjoying too from the matte balm range and then I've also been enjoying the lacquer balms. This one I don't find to be glittery at all. To me this is a beautiful classic nude from the lacquer balm range. This is 145 Ingenue and it's just a gorgeous classic shiny beautiful neutral would look just as good with a smoky eye as it would with any daytime look or you know just black liner and mascara. This is what it looks like here. I've definitely posted pictures of this one on Instagram. My nude of the month from Revlon. I love it. Doesn't last a super long time. I don't mind touching up my lip products. I really don't. So that is it. All of my favorites for the month. I have two misses for you because many of you have commented that you really enjoy when I include my misses on my favorites videos. So the first one is a body product from Vaseline. This is their brand new spray moisturizer. This is a product that you just spray all over your body. You can rub it in or you can just leave it and go. And it's meant to be non-greasy and just, you know, absorb right into your skin very easily. Great for those of you who want to moisturize your back and who can't reach back around there but while it is a nice light non-greasy feeling moisturizer I'm not sure how long the moisturizing effect of it lasts on your body on your legs I tend to prefer I guess a richer cream that will give a longer lasting moisture 
content to my dry skin. If I'm putting it on my legs or elbows, I want it to feel moisturized probably for a little bit longer. But what I really don't like about this product is the fact that it makes a big mess. When I used this in my bathroom, I sprayed it. I think I was standing on a bath mat and I sprayed it on my leg, but some must have gotten onto the tiles. And when I left and got dressed and popped on heels, went into the bathroom to grab something, I slipped because the floor was greasy and slippery with the spray particles that was left from this spray can. And I got a huge bruise on my elbow. You would have seen that in recent videos, probably if you're paying attention, but I had a really bad fall due to this product on the floor. The problem with spray products, while they may be convenient for your skin, is that the spray debris is going to end up somewhere. So think about that, where you're spraying, please be careful. I don't want any of you to have an accident as bad as mine or, you know, God forbid worse. Be very careful with your spray products and think about where they're actually being sprayed onto because it was, yeah, not fun. Next product is a foundation. This one is from Hourglass. It's their Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. It's mattifying and oil-free. I knew the lady at Mecca was trying to talk me out of it when I went in and got color match, and I have been struggling with it ever since. This is probably the most finicky foundation I've ever used. It's not cheap. I feel like it should be easy to use when you pay that much money for a product, but it really changes depending on what you're putting it over and how you're applying it. I've been unable to successfully layer this product at all. I've had days where I've hated it. I've had one successful day where I didn't use any moisturizer. I did in fact apply it with this foundation brush. I didn't layer it and it was lovely. You can see from the photo here, it looks beautiful on the skin, really impressive. But then when I tried to recreate it the next day, maybe I used moisturizer, hated it again. What I don't like about this product when it's not working for me, and that's 90% of the time right now, now it sits on my skin it sits on top of my skin and in a cakey like fashion oh it's just you know the worst of the worst when you've got cakey foundations you know when you put too much powder on if you're like me and you used to like you know full coverage foundation and it gets cakey and breaks up and you've got cakey patches on your face that's what I get with this foundation oh and I just I'm not sure yet. I haven't got that formula right yet of what I can wear it over, how I can apply it, but I suspect no moisturizer, definitely not layering, definitely not building up is definitely your best bet with this foundation. Mm, I wish it wasn't so finicky though. Please, this is a call for help from me to you. Please let me know if you've used this foundation, what the secret is to using it. What do you apply it over? What do you apply it with? Do you put anything over it? I dare say you don't. I haven't been brave enough to put powder over that product. It's a liquid to powder. I would love to hear from you if you have had success with that product because I have and continue to struggle with it big time. Definitely a miss for me so far, but I'm holding out hope. That is it, my favorite and two misses for the month. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget how beautiful you are. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.